Wow, what a show we have lined up for you today. Coming up, Gio and I talk with Zeiss about their product portfolio, their digital platforms, how they are pioneers for providing innovative technologies, and we also get to visit their bureau facility. It's a cracking show, which really shows the capabilities of this dynamic company. So I welcome you to this week's Swarf and Chips. So we're opening up the Swarf and Chips uh, show today here from your HQ in Cambridge. Uh, we'll be moving on to rugby later as well. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is the heritage. Uh, it's phenomenal, isn't it, of Zeiss? And in fact, you have a passion to be pioneers. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, that's right. I mean, um, innovation's always been at the heart of everything we do. And um, we're really lucky, actually, that we're owned by the Carl Zeiss Foundation. So that allows us to actually put a large percentage of our revenues back into research and development and really drive the innovations not only now but into the future. And we'll talk about some of those innovations shortly but and one of the things that we'll be focusing on at MTD CNC uh, is the industrial metrology but your product range goes far beyond that doesn't yeah. it? Can you maybe give us an insight into that? Yeah, so it all started back in 1847 um, with Carl Zeiss himself when he made the first low-powered microscope and since then we've got a really large portfolio of microscopes, um, all different varieties used for lots of different applications and actually there's 30 Nobel Prize winners using our microscopes around the world on their projects which is Incredible. fascinating. But it goes beyond microscopes as well doesn't it? Tell us about it, some of the other products too. It really does. I mean for example if you go to your local high street opticians um, you're very likely to be having your eyes tested using Zeiss equipment. Um, spectacle lenses are also um, part of our portfolio so it's quite possible that you'd have some Zeiss lenses at some point. And lots of leisure products as well. Yeah of course. So like, like some of the ones there. that we've got behind me, so um, quite a lot of people know us for our binoculars, rifle scopes and camera lenses and actually we also do cinematography lenses, so a lot of the blockbuster films like James Bond, Lord of the Rings, they're all shot on Zeiss lenses. And Swarf and Chips. And Swarf and Chips, exactly. <laughs> and um, we're, quite, we're quite pleased actually recently the Oscars um, awarded Roger Deakins um, the award for best cinematography um, for his Blade Runner 2049 sequel and that was all shot on Zeiss lenses so that was a really good one. For wow us. so you've mentioned there have been winners um, of, the, of those prizes are there, are there any other um, sort of uh, what you've had for your outstanding work prizes that you've had for your outstanding work can you maybe tell us about those? Well I mean I find it quite fascinating that us as a company we've won an Oscar as well actually a technical Oscar um, for the design of our lenses so that's quite a cool um, accolade to have but I think from a UK perspective we're really proud of the um, awards that our local manufacturing team here have also won so um, we actually manufacture um, scanning electron microscopes in the building next door to us and they've won awards for their lean manufacturing their apprenticeship schemes and um, so that's something we're really proud of. Brilliant and then uh, one other point I wanted to pick up before before we move on Emma is the moment innovation becomes fascination this is a quote from your website as well uh, quite a remarkable quote but can you tell us about that too and what that means to you? Yeah sure I mean we're always trying to push the boundaries with our new technologies and the hope is that um, this new technology whether it be a new way to um, streamline your inspection processes or a new way to measure things we hope that these new technologies will inspire our customers and spark that fascination for them as well to drive their success forward. Brilliant I think this has to be the best opening to Swarf and Chips yet so back to you guys for the rest of the show in the studio. Wow, what an impressive start to the show. A huge company with so many different industries. But today we're going to be discussing industrial metrology and inspection equipment. No pressure, gents, but to both of you, why choose Zeiss? Uh, well, we feel that we have a complete solution. Uh, we can guarantee the solution. We have a, a vast breadth of knowledge, of uh, expertise. We have the right products. We have from stereo microscopes through to X-ray scanning CT scanners, uh, multi-sensor systems, submicron, CMMs, and, and everything in between. So a lot, a lot of products. But what packs that up? Zeiss uh, are world leaders in a number of different areas. Uh, they're technical innovators in all of those areas. They have 27,000 employees. 10% of those employees work in research and development. So we have the technical backing and we have the willingness to go that extra mile in order to supply our customers with the solutions they provide. Mm, okay. You also offer a bureau service. Yes. What does this entail 
and how does this add value to your customers? The Bureau service offered out of the UK, bear in mind we have Bureau services offered globally, so we are a global organisation, so if a customer needed something doing overseas then they could have that offer as well. But within the UK we have 10 applications engineers, they're all very experienced and trained in the complete portfolio of the Zeiss software. They offer contract programming, project programming, training, uh, bureau subcontract measurement both in the measurement arena and also in the non-contract inspection arena using the light microscopy equipment and also the SEM equipment. That adds the, 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 the le length and the breadth of, of our knowledge and it gives additional value to the products and the hardware we provide. So if I was a potential Zeiss customer, not yet purchased any of your equipment, could I potentially bring a, a problematic component to rugby mm -hmm. and could you prove that out on the equipment that you have there available? We're always uh, offer uh, that type of service to our customers. We, uh, we, we actually want customers to get in contact with us. If they haven't contacted us before, come and sit down with us, bring out their problems in. We're, we're quite welcome to sit down, and, and or they're quite welcome to sit down and have a chat with us about whatever problem they have in the hope that we can find a resolution to their issue as quickly as possible. Because you're such a big brand, does that sometimes put people off? Are there any myths in the industry that you, know, you want to say people to overcome and say, you know, we are welcome, you are welcome to come here? Absolutely, I think that there's a preconceived misconception as as ICE are, are more expensive, uh, but we offer the right solution. I think you know when it comes to offering the right solution, you'll find that we're not any more expensive than anybody else. You know, we welcome anybody to come and challenge us uh, and discuss the breadth of knowledge we've got. I suppose you know it, it, when offering a solution, it ultimately, if that solution you get a return of investment then it's irrelevant, the cost. You know, you know how much is, is a solution worth? You know, it's to a business, the solution is worth the will, isn't it? At the mm -hmm. end of the day, if they're having problems trying to produce something and they can't supply their customer base, then they, they need to find a solution as quickly as possible, and we, we are the people to provide that. Well, let's head over to rugby, because Paul is talking about your showcase and your products. Lee, so I'm here in rugby now. I want you to give us a little bit of an overview of some of the industrial metrology technology that's on show here. I mean, let's start with the machine behind you, for example, okay. the Prismo Navigator. Yeah. Okay, so the Prismo in this showroom is our high-end CMM. Uh, we use this system for all of our gauge R&R &R capability studies. Uh, we run trials with this product. Basically, it's our sub-micron accurate CMM that we have within this facility. Okay, and then the other two behind me yeah. here, what's the differences with those? Okay, so you've got the, the Contura and the Acura. The Acura is um, it's a, it's a mid-range system. Um, it has then indexing head capabilities, still an air-bearing machine, and actually it's a very high-performing machine. It just gives us a lot more flexibility for what our customer requirements are. And I notice you have got some parts here uh, in the showroom. Are, the, are these demonstration parts, or, are, or do you encourage your customers to come here and, and do trials and uh... the showroom is it's a working showroom so we, we use a, a lot of contracting work so customers will send parts here and we'll do trials and we'll do tests with the machines um, but also we'll offer training courses as well so at the moment we've just got the cheese block on for general sort of calypso training for the software and there's 29,000 positions where you offer a, a head technology that can give you 29,000 different positions okay. um, is that much different to what some of your competitors would offer yeah, I mean, the, the actual, if you look at the, the Acura, for example, the Vast Gold probe is, is, is so unique. You know, that none of our competitors have sensor technology like that. It's almost like having a mini CMM actually inside the probe and the sensor technology. So what does that, what's the actual overarching benefit to that then? You, you, can, you can measure far more, uh, to far more tighter tolerances. You Absolutely, can get... yeah. So far more tighter tolerances and more importantly, you can actually measure more points a lot quicker as well. And I think what's fascinating here is that I'm familiar with CMM technology, but maybe not so much with multi-sensor technology. Okay. So give us a, a quick overview on that as well, and what are the multi-sensors? Yeah, your multi-sensor is, is massive for us now, uh, the open spec range, we have three different sizes. Ultimately, it means that we can now produce reports faster using optics, not just tactile, and we also have a, um, a white light sensor as well, which means that you rely on frequency rather than actual optics and points. So the four sensors are, you've got vision, you've got, uh, you've got CFS, which we'll come back to, yeah. CMM, which we know about, and rotary. So they're the four multi-sensor technologies, yeah. and they can work in conjunction with each other on a part. Absolutely, yeah. So if you're working with plastic parts, and then you're working with metal parts, you've got a lot of different sort of uh, measurements on the drawers. Give me an that application that would, that would use all of those, do you think? Have you got any idea? Yeah, I mean, look, within the orthopaedic sector, you know, we've got a lot of customers who are requiring, you know, the white light sensor, for example, on... Which is know, the CFS. Yeah. CFS, you know, highly reflective uh, measurements. So 
which obviously the optics going to struggle with and obviously you don't want to touch the component with maybe using the, the probe as well so you can then switch between the sensors depending on what's actually required on the drawing or in the, the critical features and then we go one step beyond that to the ct i yeah. mean could, tell me a little bit about that because that's fascinating yeah i mean ct really is the future for us and we invest an, an awful amount of money into it as well to to obviously progress our rct systems Basically, we can do uh, an NDT style test, so we can see through components and look for you know, failures or any contamination within a product, but ultimately we can use our Calypso software as well to actually do you know, high resolution metrology measurements. And I'm sure the guys will go into a bit more detail in the studio about some of the applications being used on those, because it is fascinating. Uh, one of the two more products I want to touch on. Uh, the first one we have behind us here, which is, reminds me of a bit of a shadow graph. Okay. Um, is that not going back in time? I, absolutely not, no. Shadow graphs are um, you know, still used and still used to great benefit, but ultimately it's relying on the person to, to create the measurement. Uh, the new OSELECT system allows automatic measurement. You put a feature on, press the button, and it removes any human sort of interface really other than hitting the button on the machine. And is it just 2D? It is only 2D, yeah. So it's our first sort of entrance really into the 2D market. Um, but having said that, you know, we have a, a great gauge capability, repeatability. Okay, now, um, something I know completely nothing about, but I know you do. Okay. Um, tell me about the SEM. This is, a, this is a new product and a new project as well. Isn't it from Zeiss? Yeah, I mean, the scanner electron microscope range has been with Zeiss for an awful long time. What's new about it is it's now uh, a part of our division within IMT. So we work with our industrial customers, and that means everything from measurement to inspection. And of course, that inspection then requires very high-end electron microscope inspection. And, and what is high end? What what are you, what are you measuring to? Oof, yeah. Splitting atoms? No, not 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 quite. But you know, we're really into the, the, the nanometer scale of, of uh, resolution. You know, tens of thousands of magnification, uh, and you require you know getting images which are absolutely incredible. It just shows you the, the breadth of your range here. Uh, finally, this is, a, this is a fabulous place to come, not only to learn, but also to train, isn't it? Yep. What, what happens here with your uh, training? Okay, so we run almost you know, daily uh, Calypso training courses, and obviously depending on the machines as well. So when a, a customer orders a machine, we try and get the, uh, the training done before the, the machine's delivered, so that when it's uh, on site, that our customers are ready to hit the ground running with the delivery of the machine. Training courses start from basic five days and we do advanced training courses that take two or three days. Okay, and very easy to find here centrally located in Rugby. Uh, that's it from me here at Zeiss in Rugby. Uh, back to the studio. This is an impressive facility, but why, why is it so important to have a training facility? The Zeiss product is a world-class product with the ability to measure down to very small tolerances. In order to get the best out of that product, and improve productivity for the customer, then you definitely need uh, a quality training course to enable you to, to look at all of the, the special attributes buying a Zeiss or buying into the Zeiss solution actually mm. gives you. Okay. Lee, Lee mentioned the Calypso software. This is unique to Zeiss, yeah. but how, one, how does it benefit your customers and how easy is it to learn? The Calypso platform does something that no other CMM metrology software does on the planet. It's an object orientated platform which gives you the ability to write programs very, very quickly without the need to go through lines and lines of source code. This aids the customer in, in after having the training course in being able to measure extremely complex parts very quickly. I, yeah, yeah. Sorry, go on. Um, what I was going to ask you, you know, Industry 4.0 is huge at the moment. Mm -hmm. What are you doing to future proof this and how are you working with your customers? I know obviously what you've just mentioned, but going forward. Zeiss um, understand the importance of the industrial Internet of Things, Industry 4.0, depending on how you want to look <laughs> at it. Um, they they uh, have a number of different platforms that they're developing. Um, some I can't talk about, some I yeah. can talk about. One that's in the marketplace at the moment is a, a product called PyWeb that's now coming online with new cloud-based applications. Um, and we have the ability to send information to your iWatch, your iPhone moving forward, so you'll be able to monitor the, the productivity of your CMM when you're, when you're at home. Um, we also have other platforms uh, and uh, links with the, the Cisco so network data people, and they're looking to, in future, give us the ability, and we also have the ability at the moment, actually, to rectify your machine remotely as opposed to a service engineer going on site to fix it. So these are just some of the things that we're, we're looking at moving Save forward. Saving money ultimately, That's really. Exactly right. I think it, it is the future because I think ultimately, you know, you can you can go so far mechanically with, with a product, but you know, how do you improve, you know, efficiency? And, and yeah. I think we've been looking at this 
uh, from a broader perspective and, and it is software, you are getting better efficiency through the software. Now we looked at the, the CT scanner Darren whilst we were at Rugby. Now, it looks a fantastic product, but again, can you give me an example of an application that you'd use a CT scanner for? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so the CT industry is born around the medical industry, uh, but the detector on a, um, a medical detector is not accurate enough for the industrial world. Um, so it's exactly the same technology, uh, but we've recently worked with a large automotive company uh, checking uh, for porosity and defects in castings prior to the first machining process. Um, so each process for the, the, the manufacturing of the, the engine block, for example, um, adds value. Uh, so it starts off, let's say, a, a nominal fee of 30 euros and it adds value all the way through the process. Um, so if we can identify that there's a, a void in the casting process uh, at the very first stage, it, it saves money and doesn't add the value through the process. Yeah, and, and another product that we looked at at Rugby was the SEM. Now, what is this and, and what does it actually do? It, it, <laughs> SEM stands for Scanning Electron Microscope. What it does is it focuses a, a beam of electrons onto the surface of the material. The, that, that then interacts with the surface of the material, enabling you to look at the composition, the topography of that surface down to half, well, down, well with our products down to half a nanometer. Now, um, like the Calypso software, this is unique to yourself. Is the, is the SEM unique to yourself? And, and, do, and also, do you offer a service um, with the SEM? So, for example, if someone's got a product, um, could they come to you and can it be checked with the SEM? Yes, it could. Um, and the SEM as a concept isn't um, indigenous to, to Zeiss, but we do have SEMs within our range that only Zeiss do actually offer. That SEM isn't offered at our facility, but if there was a need to use that, then we could send parts out to Germany for, for evaluation to be done there. But it's new to the industri industrial metrology it's division? It's new to the industrial metrology division. It adds weight and breadth to, to the offering that we can give to our customers. So can you give us an example of an application that you'd use within this industry on an SEM? Well, an SEM can be used for a number of different things, for failure analysis, uh, problems that are created from the production uh, process. But the most recent one that we looked at was to do with uh, contamination. We had some, a customer that was uh, making some plastic parts, and within those plastic parts they found there were some me metallic objects. They didn't understand what these metallic, ob metallic objects were, but they knew they came from somewhere within their manufacturing process. Mm -hmm. So using one of the detectors within the SEM, we were able to, again, using this uh, beam of electrons, gain access to this metallic component, look at the composition of that, that metallic component, and from that they were able to investigate and find out exactly within, where within the production facility this, this contamination was coming from. Which, yeah, that, that's incredible because that kind of leads on to you saying, you know, you're moving forward with technology, but you're actually working very closely with your customers on very, very unique projects as well. Definitely. That's, mm. yeah. It's fascinating and so relevant to our industry. Now, I, I went to Reliance Precision recently and we looked at even more solutions that you've provided, mm -hmm. a non-contact um, solution, but also some special offers. So let's go over to Reliance and we're speaking to David Tor. David. What considerations did you make when choosing Zeiss as a technical partner, but also a solutions provider? Yeah, I think um, at Reliance we do a lot of high precision, high accuracy, um, quality work, and we really only ever want to engage with suppliers that provide the same sort of service. Um, so we looked at Zeiss as a potential supplier um, back in 2014, and we're really impressed with the level of service they provided, the demonstrations they gave, the quality of the equipment, uh, the longevity of it. Um, so that really made us think hard about using Zeiss and in, in turn we actually chose them as a, a, as a supplier of CMMs for us. We're in the uh, submicron metrology lab at present but you've also got CMMs on the shop floor. Can you tell me about the Jura Max? Yeah, that's right. So we initially bought the machine for the lab um, and then we wanted to change the way Reliance worked in terms of how we had a traditional measuring area. Um, we wanted to place machines out in the shop floor environment. This was to save for savings in efficiency, quality of measurement. Um, so we actually looked at the Duramax as an option uh, and it came back as being the best option available on the market and sticking with the Zeiss Calypso software as well. Um, so yeah, it fitted our needs very well in terms of how we could place the machines in the manufacturing area. And, and the Jura Max, can you just briefly tell me, or, or give me the, the best efficiency gain you get from the Jura Max? 
Yeah, so I think having the machine located in the area, in the cell where the parts are being manufactured is the biggest efficiency saving for us. You're not having people walking around, having to go and use dedicated measuring labs. Um, these machines are in the area, they're very easily serviceable, um, they don't use any compressed air, which is a massive, a massive plus point for us. We can move them around if we need to and just have them recalibrated. Um, so yeah, they were ideal for that, for that sort of uh, setup we were after. And if you had to give me one solution, I know you've got many solutions that you work together with SOS on. If you had to just give me one solution that you work together on, what would it be and what product did you use? Um, so I think probably the best example would be um, a development process we went through with a, with a new customer. Uh, we were looking to produce a very accurate surface and we needed to measure the part, but also we needed to do some non-contact measurement on that part as well. Um, so through conversations with ZEISS uh, that we regularly have, uh, this new machine was, um, was uh, talked about. Um, we were very interested in, in progressing that further. ZEISS manufacture the most accurate CMM on the planet. Are you going to buy another ZEISS? Uh, yeah, they, they produce now the, the Xenos machine, which is um, a very high accurate machine. It's a piece of art as well when you look at it. Um, and I'd definitely continue using ZEISS without, without question. Darren, Reliance Precision, what an absolutely fantastic company and it was a pleasure to, to be there. Yeah. Now, can you elaborate on this solution, the non-contact solution to start with? Yeah, absolutely. David Core Tor contacted us uh, with, with an issue with they were finding on their CMM with uh, defamation of the, the component. Couldn't quite understand why with the probing dynamics. Um, so we investigated it. We highlighted there was a, a problem uh, with the probe deflecting the part by under defamation. So we loaned uh, Reliance Precision the Smart Proof 5, um, which is a non contact surface finish piece of equipment. So we identified from using the equipment of the, the, the portfolio we've got of what the problem was with his CMM. So uh, that, that, that was a non-contact solution. He was very impressed with that yeah, solution. Was. Yeah. He, re he really Number was. Number one fan. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they've invested heavily in the Max. Now I was really, personally, I was really impressed with this piece of equipment that it can be used on the shop floor, in a shop floor environment. I suppose yeah. it's in the name, Max, durable. But you know, what kind of tolerances can you measure down to with this piece of equipment? Absolutely, as, as you alluded to there, the, the Duramax is a true shop floor machine. It's a, a full scanning machine, it's a, a low cost of ownership, it doesn't need an air supply, it's a small footprint so you can sit it next to your machine tool. The accuracies we can go down to is 2.1 microns of a temperature gradient between 15 and 40 degrees C. David also mentioned that he saw huge efficiency gains using the Calypso software mm -hmm. um, for all the products, all the Zeiss products that he has on site. Now, you know, how do you get these gains? Well, we are known as the scanning people, um, and Calypso is our, our foundation, our foundation software that, that's used across our complete portfolio. Um, the Calypso software has the ability to be plugged into all machines. If you write a program on a, a Prismo, let's say, you can seamlessly transfer that from the Prismo to the Duramax using uh, the, the, the Reliance as an example. Um, and we also have the PMI facility, which is a product manufacturing information uh, option within the Calypso software. This enables us to write the Calypso programs directly from the CAD model. That gives, in certain cases, up to 80% efficiency gains when programming. So these are where the efficiency gains will definitely come from. It's huge, isn't it? Mm. Now, you mentioned a special offer earlier, and as we've kind of said, you know, there's many people in the industry that will say that you're the Rolls Royce for the CMM world, which is a nice compliment, but I want to get down to prices. I want to get down to the nitty gritty. So, explain what the special offer is about. Well, it's on the Duramax, and it uh, lasts to the uh, 30th of September this year. Uh, and uh, we have a finance package available for just £43 a day, which includes installation, training, CAD software, scanning probes. So, everything you need to be up and running with a Zeiss product yeah. yeah I think it's a really good point as well in regards just to round up and to summarize with, with inspection you know um, there's a bottleneck now you know parts are being machined quicker faster um, and the inspection needs to keep up it needs to be as efficient as the machining yeah I agree I've got another question David Tor also mentioned the Xenos the most accurate CMM in the world Absolutely. now what kind of tolerances can you measure with this machine it's a, a sub-micron machine. Its first term accuracy is 0 0.29 of a micron over a metre. Can you put that into perspective? Very small. 
<laughs> I like that. <laughs> get in contact, get in touch. But this is, <laughs> I like it. But okay then, so we've covered your products, <coughs> but I want to know events. How do I get in touch? How do I get in contact with you? Uh, you can contact us via the website uh, mm. or through our customer care team in Cambridge. Uh, we are attending two more events this year, one up at, in Edinburgh at DDL uh, and one over in Galway in Ireland. Uh, so see us there. Right, no pressure for my last question just to finish off the show. Sell the Zeiss experience to us. We're a global organisation. As I said, we have 27,000 people working for us. 10% of those work in R&D. 10% of our revenue goes back into R&D. We are uh, the, the ultimate solutions provider in all sectors that we work within. So get in come, contact. Come and, come and join the Zeiss family. <laughs> really? Thank you very, Thank much, you very much for joining guys. us on Thank our Swarf and Chip show. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. Pleasure.